हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस सेशन ऑफ चैप्टर फोर क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस हाउ टू चेक वेदर द गिवन इक्वेशन इज अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन और नॉट और हाउ टू फॉर्म अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन बाय यूजिंग द गिवन कंडीशन एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट द सोल्यूशन ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन बाय फैक्ट्राइजेशन how to solve quadratic equation using factoring method this is the easiest method of solving a quadratic equation as long as the binomial or trinomial is easily factorable what i mean to say is the main idea of using factoring method to solve quadratic equation if i have the factors of the polynomial on one side and on the other side i must have zero so i can easily solve for the variable what we have to do this factor must be equal to zero or the second one must be equal to zero the diagram here suggest the following key points first one one side of the equation is just zero as you can see one side must be zero second point the opposite side should contain the factors of the given polynomial here these are two factors of the given polynomial and the third point after these two conditions stated above are met then it is now okay to set each factor equal to 0 then solve for the value of the unknown variable let us try some example example 1 solve the quadratic equation below by factoring method i have two factors as x plus 7 and x minus 2 their product is equal to 0 now i consider this type of a problem as a freebie means what because it is already set up for us to find the solutions we can easily find out the solution of the variable x here so notice that the left side contains factors of some polynomial these two are factors of some polynomial and the right hand side is just zero as you can see so we have x plus 7 into x minus 2 is equal to 0 means what x plus 7 is equal to 0 or x minus 2 equal to 0 you can easily calculate the value of the variable x here so x plus 7 minus 7 just subtract 7 from both sides so is equal to 0 minus 7 you will get x is equal to minus 7 or you can calculate this as x is equal to just transpose 7 to the right hand side sign will change positive will become negative so x is minus 7 and from here either you can solve like this you can add 2 on both side because we have minus 2 so x minus 2 plus 2 will give you 0 plus 2 so x is 2 or you can simply transpose minus 2 to the right hand side sign will change it will become positive so x is 2 so the answer are the value of the variable x is minus 7 and 2 let us solve another example solve the quadratic equation below using the factoring method we have x raised to the power 2 plus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0 to factor this trinomial into binomial i need to find two numbers by try and error that satisfy two given conditions the product of these two numbers is equal to a into c which is minus 10 as you can see this is minus 10 so i need to find two numbers whose product is Minus ten means these two numbers must contain opposite sign. Number one, number two is what? As you can see here, this is 
plus 3. Means what? When I will add that 2 numbers whose product is minus 10, I must get positive 3. Means the value of the larger number should be positive. Now, the sum of these two numbers is equal to the coefficient of the linear term means this is plus 3. Now, the first condition as I told you, when I multiply two numbers, I must get minus 10 and if I will add that two numbers, I must get positive 3. So, two numbers that can satisfy the given condition are plus 5 and minus 2 because as you can see when you will multiply 5 by minus 2 you will get minus 10 and if you will add 5 plus minus 2 what will you get 3. So, x square plus 3x minus 10 equals to 0 we can rewrite this equation as x square plus 5x minus 2x minus 10 equals to 0. Now, you can take out x common from here you will get x into x plus 5 and you can take out minus 2 as common you will get x plus 5 equals to 0. So, after solving you will get x plus 5 into x plus 2 is equal to 0. So, basically these two are factors of this polynomial. Okay. So, either this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0. So, what will you get? From here you will get x is equal to minus 5 and from here you will get x is equal to 2. Now, exercise 4.2 question number 1 find the roots of the following quadratic equations by factorization. We have the equation as x square minus 3x minus 10 equals to 0. Now, solution we will consider this equation. So, x square minus 3x minus 10 equals to 0. Again, we need to satisfy two conditions. We need two numbers whose product is minus 10 and when we will add that two numbers we will get minus 3. So, the two numbers are minus 5 and 2. You will get minus 10 when you will multiply these two numbers and when we you will add these two numbers you will get minus 3. So, these two conditions are satisfied with two numbers minus 5 and so, you can rewrite this equation as x square minus 5x plus 2x minus 10 equals to 0. You can take out x common from here, you will get x into x minus 5 and from here you can take out 2s common, you will get x minus 5. Now, x minus 5 is common, so x minus 5 and x plus 2 are two factors of the polynomial x square minus 3x minus 10 which is equal to 0. Again, you can put either x minus 5 equal to 0 or you can put x plus 2 equals to 0. So, the factors are x is equal to minus 2 and 5. So, hence the required roots are minus 2 and 5. Now, next part, part 4, 2x square minus x plus 1 by 8 equals to 0. As here you can see this is 1 by 8. First of all, we will consider this equation. So, 2x square minus x plus 1 by 8 is equal to 0. You need to take the LCM of this equation. What will you get? LCM is 8. So, 8 into 2 you will get 16x square. 8 into minus 1 you will get minus 8x and plus 1 equals to 0. So, the equation is 16x square minus 8x plus 1 equals to 0. Now, we need to satisfy two conditions. We need two numbers such that their product is what? Here, one thing you should remember. Here, the value of a is what? 16, which is the coefficient of 
x square. Here the value of b is what? Minus 8 which is the coefficient of x and c here is 1. Now if I multiply a into c what will I get? 16. So remember this you need two numbers such that their product is 16 and when you will add those two numbers you will get minus 8 as an answer. So basically we have when you will multiply minus 4 by minus 4 you will get 16 and when you will add minus 4 plus minus 4 you will get minus 8. Look minus 4 into minus 4 you will get 16 because negative negative will become positive and 4 into 4 you will get 16 and minus 4 plus minus 4 you will get minus 8. So, the two conditions are satisfied with two numbers minus 4 and minus 4. So, you can rewrite this equation as 16x square and instead of minus 8x you can write minus 4x into minus 4x plus 1 equals to 0. Now, you can take out 4x common from these two numbers you will get 4x into 4x minus 1 and you can take out minus 1 common. So, you will get minus 1 into 4x minus 1 equals to 0. Both of them contains 4x minus 1. So, 4x minus 1 and 4x minus 1 equals to 0. So, these two are our factors of this polynomial. So, how you will solve for x? You will put 4x minus 1 equals to 0 or again you have 4x minus 1 equals to 0. Solve for x you will get x as 1 by 4 and 1 by 4. So, hence the required roots are 1 by 4 and 1 by 4. Now, next question find two consecutive positive integers sum of whose squares is 365. Now, consecutive means what? One after the other. So, we need to consider two positive integers as x and 1 by x. Now, since the sum of the squares of the numbers is equal to 365 means what? Square of x means x square plus x plus 1 whole square is equal to 365. You can open up this bracket by applying the identity a plus b whole square which is a square plus b square plus 2a. Now, simply consider in place of a you can write x and in place of b you can write 1. So, what will you get? You will get x square plus 1 plus 2x or you can write as x square plus 2x plus 1. So, this will become x square plus x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 300 65. Now, combine these two together you will get 2x square plus 2x plus 1 and transpose this to the left hand side you will get minus 365 equals to 0. Now, after solving you will get 2x square plus 2x minus 364 equals to 0. As you can see you can take out 2 as common from this equation. So, you will get x square plus x minus 182 is equal to 0 or you can divide this equation by 2. So, you will get this equation. Now, we need to consider again two numbers whose product is minus 182 and whose sum is what? 1. So, 14 and minus 13 are the two numbers when we will multiply them we will get minus 182 and when we will add them we will get x. Now, you can take out x as common from here. So, x is x into x plus 14 minus 13 you can take out common you will get x plus 14. In both we have x plus 14 as common. So, two factors of the polynomial are x plus 14 
and x minus 13 equals to 0. Simply put x plus 14 equals to 0 or x minus 13 equals to 0. So, you will get x as minus 14 and x as 13. So, since x has to be a positive integer, so x is 13. Now, x plus 1 is what? 13 plus 1 because these two are consecutive positive integers that is why I have considered the positive value of x not the negative one. So, x plus 1 is what? 13 plus 1 you will get 14. So, thus the required consecutive positive integers are 13 and 14. Now, next a cottage industry produces a certain number of poultry articles in a day. It was observed on a particular day that the cost of production of each article in rupees was 3 more than twice the number of articles produced on that day. If the total cost of production on that day was rupees 90. So, total cost of production is what? Rupees 90. Find the number of articles produced and the cost of each article. So, we need to calculate the number of articles produced and the cost of each article. So, let us consider the number of articles produced in a day is equal to x. You can take any variable, you can take y as well. So, we have taken it as x. So, the cost of production of each article as you can see he has mentioned that it was observed on a particular day that the cost of production of each article was 3 more than 3 more than twice the number of articles produced as we have considered the article produced in a day x. So, the cost will be 2x plus 3. Now, according to the condition, the cost, total cost is given as rupees 90. So, we have x into 2x plus 3 is equal to 90. Now, solve this, what will you get? x into 2x, you will get 2x square plus x into 3, you will get 3x. So, 2x square plus 3x is equal to 90, transpose 90 to the left hand side. So, the equation is what? 2x square plus 3x minus 90 is equal to 0. As you can see here, the coefficient of x square is what? 2. Means I have the value of a as 2, b as 3 and c as minus 90. So, I need to multiply 2 by minus 90. So, a into c means what? You will get 2 into minus 90. So, answer is minus 180. So, you need to find out two numbers whose product is minus 180 and when you will add those numbers you will get plus 3. So, the two numbers which will satisfy these two conditions are 15 and minus 12. So, 15 into minus 12 you will get minus 180. And when you will add 15 plus minus 12, you will get 3. So, you can rewrite this equation as, rewrite this equation, 2x square minus 12x plus 15x minus 90 is equal to 0. You can take out 2x common from here. So, you will get 2x into x minus 6 and you can take out 15 common. So, 15 into x minus 6, both have x minus 6 as common. So, x minus 6 into 2x plus 15 equals to 0. So, you will get x as 6 and minus 15 by 2. Now, the number of articles cannot be negative. So, we will consider the positive one. So, x is 6. Hence, the cost of each article is what? 2 into 6 plus 3. When you will solve, you will get rupees 15. 
and thus the required number of articles produced is 6 as the value of the variable x is 6 and we have considered the number of articles produced in a day is x. So, the answer is 6 and the cost of the each article is rupees 50. Now, there are few questions for your homework. First one, find the roots of the following quadratic equations by factorization. First part, 2x square plus x minus 6 equals to 0. Second, 100x square minus 20x plus 1 equals to 0. Second question, find two numbers whose sum is 27 and product is 182. Third question, the altitude of a right triangle is 7 centimeter less than its base, 7 centimeter less than its base. If the hypotenuse is 13 centimeter, find the other two sides. Now, let us quickly revise what we have studied today. Solution of quadratic equation by factorization. A real number alpha is called a root of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. A cannot be equal to 0. If simply replace x by alpha, what will you get? A into alpha square plus b alpha plus c equals to 0. Because alpha is the root now, so we have just replaced x by alpha. So, we also say that x is equal to alpha is a solution of the quadratic equation or that alpha satisfy the quadratic equation. Note that the zeros of the quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c and the roots of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 are the same. I hope you have understood how to find out the solution of a quadratic equation by factorization. Thank you.